This shot was too quick and not establishing. Why remake Enchanted Mob's pizzeria map? He literally made that up. It's not based off sister location at all. Scaled up fire. It would have been much more visually appealing to make the fire to scale with the building. With the fire scaled up, it makes the building feel like it's a tiny Lego set. Obvious edge of the map. The offset of these blocks on the wall are distracting. The UV stretch in the vents has returned. Why are these metal vents on fire? And why only in that one area? How is this plastic cup not caught in fire yet? Why is this hinting at the music video from Resolve DNZ's channel? If this video is a continuation, why is it on a different channel now? So if this is a continuation, I thought the building was like, collapsing before? It seems fine and dandy now besides it being on fire. Scrap Baby reaches out for you to take her out of this music video before it's too late. What did any of that beginning scene have to do with what we're seeing now? It should have been setting up shots of Michael, and showing how he got to where he is now. Also, flying in and out of faces super fast is not a transition. <gasps> this Michael! It's Michael! You, sh you see the name tag right there? It's my- This Michael! It's Michael! The camera focuses on Michael for a long time here. There's been six different camera shots on Michael. All these shots could have been replaced with establishing shots of how he got to where he is. That would have given the viewer a better sense of what's going on. How is the red still shining on the sides of the blocks here if the light source just got covered? These super stretched UVs on the wall. Oh, Blackton is back. Tin. Blackton is back. Tin. Also, this is Henry, everybody. Look at the name tag. This is Henry. It's Henry. You're perfect for this occupation. Wait, what? Can Michael see Blackton? This needs to be more clear. With a general disregard for Nothing happened when he pressed the button. At least it didn't show anything. You should have made some indicator that something happened. self-preservation! What are these facial expressions? self-preservation! Oh, I knew felt So let me get this straight. You're saying Baby was crawling on the ground all the way to get to Michael here? I would've liked to seen that rather than this random button push. Friend, we're glad to see there's no way you were keeping a wrench that huge in your pocket. Also, why would you even have a wrench that big on you at all times? Oh yeah, this is my giganto wrench. I use it for unexpected Minecraft circus baby attacks. That punch was more like a nudge. Michael's kind of a pushover. This animation has so much boondoggling. Each movement has no purpose and just exists to prevent the characters from standing still. Circus Baby's movements are so slow and don't fully pose how it should, and it just screams mediocrity. Why does everyone do this now? The character completely changes attitude and or personality in order to fit the song. Animations are supposed to be built on the foundations of the song and expand on the ideas, rather than just sticking to exactly what is happening when it is happening. That's how you make your animations feel natural. Just keep running, catch you. Catch you. Oh, and now the wrench is on him. Wait, does that mean Circus Baby gave him his wrench back? Aren't you trying to capture this guy? Come on, think! Don't give your captor a weapon! Circus Baby must have been like, Whoops, I think he dropped this. I'll just put it on his belt in case he needs it later. Catch you. Those hip movements look strange. I mean, they aren't nearly as bad as Ecker Coaster's hip movements, but it looks like the skirt is bending, not the actual hip. Wait, are they going to the scooper? At least make the map look similar to Sister Location. This looks like some sort of random labyrinth from Skyrim. Just keep running, catch this random flicker of light. Catch you. Catch you. That run cycle. There are much better ways you could have shown the breaking free moment. This looks like the laziest way. Also, what are these camera angles? When purple guy breaks free, the camera just aims at the ceiling, then to the far right, then to the far left, while Circus Baby hunches over and then frowns. Where's the focus? Also, Circus Baby's facial expressions reset once the faceplates come together. This run cycle looks like more of a slow glide. Purple guy isn't even bobbing up and down. Find you. Find you. 
Why was Funtime Freddy just hiding in a locker? Has he just been hiding in that locker forever, just waiting for someone to run by so he can open it dramatically? Also, why is there even a random locker in the middle of a hall? You can't keep hiding for why does the lighting keep changing? Keep your lighting consistent. Storage? Why would he run to the storage? Michael should be familiar with the area, so why wouldn't he just run over to the elevator he came from? Find you. Find you. Michael, why are you just standing there? You just escaped from Circus Baby. She's gonna be chasing you. You know, for a song called They'll Keep You Running, there isn't much running going on. Purple Guy breaks the fourth wall and acknowledges Blackton, which doesn't exist again. I'm not sure if Blackton isn't even actually there anymore. Also, where did the Freddy locker go? He just ran past it. Oh, things have calmed down quite a bit now. Michael just casually walks into the storage room even though two seconds ago he was running for his life down this very hallway. Heck, Circus Baby could have caught him if she just jogged over here again and gave him a little nudge punch. This is implying that Funtime Freddy sees through the eyes of Bon Bon, but that's just dumb. Freddy must be just awkwardly staring at the wall while he sticks his hand out from the corner. Michael closes the metal mechanical doors and yet somehow Funtime Freddy teleports into the room. Even if you argued that he ran into the room before this happened and pressed a button, he would make loud metal steps that would surely alarm Michael years before this happened. Uh, you okay there Freddy? You're looking straight up at the ceiling for no reason. Also, where's the purple light coming from shining on Funtime Freddy? Heck, I don't think any of the lights have origins in this video. All of the ceiling lights are white, but this room is orange. We need consistency here. This is awkward. Just gonna stand here until the lyrics start. One moment, please. This extreme camera shake isn't needed here. It would be better to have it on an action-packed sequence, but they're just standing here. Don't be still. These camera cuts are disorienting and add nothing to the plot or feel. We just see Michael get scared for the thousandth time. Show us something different. Don't be still, everyone. Ironic, when Freddy sings Don't Be Still, he's just standing there and hunching forward. Is waiting, quite the thrill, even you must agree. It's not fair, just to keep us waiting. I'm pretty sure Bon Bon and Funtime Freddy have their own unique voice in the game, so sin. Watch us stare, quietly calculating. Also, why would Michael want to pull the fire alarm? I'm pretty sure some water wouldn't turn these things off if they are this advanced. Also, also, I don't see any place on the ceiling from water to shoot from. Man, that is a really bad plan. These are just incoherent, random clips that not only don't go with the same visuals, but the song as well at this point. Also, no, not another void scene! SSS flickering. This is a fast part of the song, but the visuals here are so slow and boring. The tables have been turned oh, guess we're back. What was even the point of that? Did they just need to get in their daily dose of useless void scene? Now it is your time to learn the truth. Just For such little power in that swing, Michael sure flew a long way. Why do this creepy way of nearing when Freddy could just walk up and grab Michael right now? He's not intimidating anyone right now. Why are the doors sideways? Linear tangents on the camera, please. What kind of walk cycle is this? He's not even bobbing up and down. That's like the foundations of a walk cycle, literally. What is up with the Circus Baby hit movement? It is way over-exaggerated, and it's just distracting when it's supposed to give them personality. Also, skirt clipping. This scene isn't familiar at all. <laughs> what is Foxy doing? What? What are the correlations of these clips? Michael wasn't even being dragged over to them, and then the camera just cuts to the scooping room? And just why would you show it this way? If it's the perspective of Michael, we should have cut to this after he was knocked out. Consistency! Nobody at this table is eating anything. Maybe they're about to eat that giant turd in the middle of the dining table. <laughs> His face.
While this seems like the slowest and laziest way to treat the bridge of the song, it definitely is creative, so sin off for that. But I'm giving a sin back because this scene doesn't tie into the narrative of the rest of the song. There are dishes and silverware set up here even though nobody is sitting there. The song has a scream? Okay, just insert some random character screaming and it'll be good even though it makes no sense in this visual context. Where's Michael? Wasn't he in front of the scooper? Or is he still stuck at that dining table eating turds? Wow, his insides are scooped out without a scratch forming on him. That is some state-of-the-art equipment right there. Why does his head look so big here? It looks like it inflated like a balloon. More teleportation. You could have shown the creation of Ennard in a more creative way than just a cut to black. There could have been opportunities for a much cooler looking shot. Dang, Ennard's been skipping leg day. At least make blood drip. This is not convincing at all. What really leaves an impact after watching these videos is when the viewers think, Whoa, how did he do that? But no, all that's being shown is animation and unparenting body parts. There's no never-before-seen effects that make this part stand out or give a payoff for watching this video. This is supposed to be the climax, right? This twitching looks more like the rig is glitching. The twitches are way too extreme. Unnecessary black screen is unnecessary. Those steps reach out way too far forward. It's supposed to be the other way around. What is this signifying? What is Blackton's relevance when he was supposed to be Michael's conscience or something? Blackton just lost his way, I guess. So is this your reality? Or are you just a king of dreams? I doubt Ennard will be able to hold this entire metal hatch open with one hand like this. Why would there be a staircase leading into a hole in the ground? I know the novels say there are holes in the ground, but the visuals did not explain this well. This is a creative allusion to the house from FNAF 4. I've never seen this done in these types of videos before. One sin off. A big jump there. The time passed is unexplained and could have been demonstrated better. Putting the animator skins in the video cliche. What is in the background? Is that like a Walmart or something? What? The sidewalk goes down a level in this neighborhood? What kind of infrastructure is this? Of course it was shown in this way. Flickering black screen instead of showing what actually happens because it would require more work than just keyframing what you have. His right arm clips through the stone slabs. Wait, is this video the origin story of Blackton? It all makes sense now. In conclusion, this is good for a first music video. There were a few unique shots, the pacing was good, but the overall execution of the story was done in the laziest way possible. The animation was good overall, lighting was mostly good overall other than a few inconsistencies, visible origin points for lighting would have helped more, sets were okay, but it really could have used some more innovation. It often seemed repetitive and steered away from the sister location feel. The main thing for improving would be just going the extra mile for scenes like the scooping room, especially when it's at the climax. Actually show the construction of Ennard and the destruction of Afton. You don't have to be gruesome to make it interesting or clever. Go the full nine yards.